Hi guys, John Teki here. So we have a game request from one of our commenters on my uh, previous video. Uh, he's asking if I, we could uh, find a fix for the Guardians of the Galaxy. He tried a lot of um, versions of the uh, repack game, so he was unlucky to have it working. So yeah, I did manage to research some of the quite some few errors of the game and some issues. Then yeah, I managed to play it on the Steam. So here we're running it on our Steam OS. See? Here. So the settings here are on low. Let me show you very quick. Display. Yes, we're in uh, 800p. Then the max refresh rate is on 40 only because we never had a, uh, a fixed uh, 50 or 60 frame rates. Then I set the uh, FSR to balance. So next is on the graphics, everything is low, as you can see, and most of them are turned off. So, but uh, we have a very uh, good graphics here. Yeah. We do have a few dips from 30, but most of the time we're here on 40 FPS. There you go. So it's a uh, it's a fun game, uh, third person like shooter game. Yeah, so anyways, let me show you how I uh, fixed the game and uh, had it working on the Steam OS. So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so now we're in our desktop mode. Uh, we need a few files. First is the game file itself. So you can use any source you want. Uh, it's uh, FitGirl, Dodi, Skidro, or any file. So most of those uh, files are just running on Windows. Yeah, we need a crack fix. So here, it's a crack fix from Empress. I can send you the file. Just uh, PM me on my Facebook page. And of course, uh, make sure you're subscribed and like this video. So here, open the crack fix. Just copy this bin. Go to your Marvel's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy folder. Then paste it here. So overwrite. There you go. Once done, we're going to use the Heroic Launcher to install the game. So run the Heroic Launcher. If you haven't got the Heroic Launcher, you can install it from the Discovery. So just find on the Discover app the Heroic and you can find it there. So this one. So once installed, then go to add game type here the title of the game for us it's marvel's guardians of the galaxy so after you type the title of the game click on the app image wait for it to generate the app so scroll down so we already have the game folder. If you haven't got the game folder, it's just an installer file. So run installer first. I have a few tutorial of that. Uh, you can check it in my channel. I also post it on the description. So click on the folder. Find the uh, game file. So it's on my games. Guardians of the Galaxy. Bin. In here, GOTG. X. Choose. Now click finish. Once it's finished, uh, click the image, uh, click this um, three lines here, and on this drop down, make sure you click on the Proton 753. If you haven't got the Proton 753, you can go to Wine Manager and Proton GE, then search for the Proton 753. So this one. On my end, it's already installed, so I don't have to do it again okay so let's go back to the game 
click these three lines, drop down on Photon 753, then run XA on prefix. Now you have to have the VC Redisk 64. So if you haven't got the VC Redisk 64, just go to your browser, type in VC Redisk. There. And here on the latest supported Visual C++, just click it and you can download here the X64. So it will um, generate a link for you so you can download that file. So here, just find where did you download that file. On me, it's on my SD games, downloads, and here, redisk x64.exe. Wait for it for the window to prompt. There you go. So for me, it's already installed. Let's just uh, click repair. But for you, if it's this is the first time, click on install. So it should be installed immediately like that. So once it's done, replace the wine version. Go to your Proton 8-15 or if you have the latest version, just click on that. Close and you can try the game. So once you see the uh, launcher of the game, you can uh, check the settings of the option. You can check the uh, graphics preset. So mine is on low and display and you can custom all the displays you want. So let's check on the VSync, balance. I set the resolution scale on 80 there. Sharpening is to 50, I guess. Then apply. So now you can play and test the game. So there you have it. The game launches. Uh, you just need to add this to the Steam so you can play it on your gaming mode. So see you again next time and God bless everyone.